Okay, this is my lunch today and I'm so excited. This is like a tuna salad dip kind of thing, inspired by something I saw on TikTok, but it's like spicy, it's got hot sauce in it. Gonna scoop it onto these lentil crisps because I love the texture of these. And then cornichons, you already know, my favorite. And a Coke Zero. Today's a day of stinky foods. I'm gonna have loads of kimchi later and pickled stuff is like good for your gut, I think. And I'm trying to improve that girl because she has some issues. I love New Year's. I love New Year's Eve and I love the whole new year, new me thing. I don't get what people say. I think it's a great time to just like have a reset, have a refresh and just approach your life and your routine or getting out of the routine that you're in with like a whole new attitude and a whole new perspective. If you've watched my last video and if you haven't, go and watch it after this, you would have seen that I was away for Christmas and for New Year and it was a real holiday of like rest and relaxation but I also got into a good habit of being more conscious of what I'm putting in my body and also how much because I was gorging on Tony's Chocoloni like the whole of December. There's something about having a Christmas tree up that makes me want to have chocolate for breakfast and just going to the gym on holiday made me fall in love with being on top of fitness again and then since I've been back and I've been able to be in my own space again and get into an actual routine with work and everything around work I just feel so positive I feel so happy and I feel so excited about life and I feel like I'm just getting stuff done I'm gonna read you some of my new year's resolutions so this year I want to get my first and potentially my second and third tattoo I feel like my dad and my stepmom will be so disappointed in me when I come home and I've got tattoos I did not have strict parents my mum and my dad relatively let me do whatever I wanted but I wasn't a very like naughty kid anyway but life's too short do you know what I mean I like them and I've been sitting on the fact that I like them for a few months now because I wanted to like mull it over because it's a very permanent decision and I didn't want to just like decide it like that but I want some tattoos I still really want an eyebrow piercing I've wanted my eyebrow piercing since I was like 14 years old I remember I came home with my nose pierced after going on holiday with my mum I went to my dad's house and I put in like a big black stud just to like annoy him <laughs> I am a grown woman and if I want to get tattoos I can get them my other thing was to get an Amex I've already applied and it's already on the way. I told you, I'm already just getting shit done. I have got on my New Year's resolution to fit into this one pair of grey jeans that I have. It's not a major change or drastic goal. There's just a pair of jeans that I fluctuate in and out of being able to fit them and not being able to fit them. I don't really like the jeans, so I just want to be able to wear them. To only rot after work once a week, I feel like I have a habit of coming back from work and feeling a bit brain dead or even just like physically exhausted because sometimes my job can be quite physical. And I have dinner, I have a bath and I get in bed and I watch TikTok and like, that's just not super productive. And sometimes I have stuff that I need to do and need to get done. And I don't do it because I just wanna lie in bed. So I want to limit my rock time to once a week because there are always gonna be days when I just feel like doing nothing after work and that's fine. Just so long as it's not every night. My next one is to go at least four weeks in between nail appointments. During November and Christmas, I was just like a bit more anxious and I just found myself biting my nails a bit more and I was paying to get them done every two weeks. So I came back from holiday and I got them all taken off. I'm just gonna have like a month with no nails. My fingers look clapped, but I just need a break. And like, I've been paying extra for Biab and then like literally biting them all off and ruining my nails. So I just need to try and just leave them alone. My next New Year's resolution was to walk to work. I'm moving offices and it's like a 45 to 40 minute walk. When I lived in Jersey, I used to walk to work and it was a 35 to 40 minute walk. And I just feel like it starts off your day really well, having a bit of fresh air, a bit of exercise and just gives you time to like wake up in the morning. I'll get a podcast on or an audiobook and just get some steps in. My next one is to run a 5K. I basically had a dream after a really lazy weekend that I ran 5K and I woke up that morning and I went for a run and I ran like 3K out of the 5K and walked the rest. And before that dream, I used to like hate running and really not enjoy it and I never really did it and now I actually do find myself enjoying it. Taylor Swift is my running music like I save listening to her music specifically for running. Don't know what that's about just love it but I would like to be able to run the entire 5k. I've got on here to visit a new country. I've been thinking a lot recently about what this year is going to look like, where I'm going to go away, who I'm going to go with and like just how I'm going to spread it all out nice and evenly and also how I'm going to afford it all but that's a problem for another day. And then go on day trips to the coast. I never really leave London unless I'm going outside of the UK. And I feel like I explored the North really well when I was at uni in Leeds. We would just venture out into the countryside and I would just like to be a person who goes on like a day trip to Seaford and do the Seven Sisters hike. I kind of want to go to Whitstable. I want to go to, what's the other one? Margate. There's just places around London that I would love to go to and just get out of the city, get a bit more involved with nature. <laughs> And then I've also written myself like a list of targets 
or daughter of a hoarder type things but they're just like goals I want to reach. I wouldn't say I'm giving up on TikTok but I would say it's my least favourite platform right now and I've been putting off doing my taxes because I've never done taxes before as someone freelance like when I was in Jersey I had a job and it was kind of like automatically deducted um, and I just had to confirm that number on my tax return whereas this whole situation is a lot more scary because I'm freelance and self-employed so I have to do a self-assessment and I didn't really understand how expenses and everything worked before and it was a job that I'd just been putting off and putting off and putting off and like building up and it felt like this weight on my shoulders was just continuously growing and I was getting anxious about it Maybe that's why I was biting my nails so much in November and December because I knew that by January 31st you have to have submitted your tax return if you're self-employed. But I got set up with my friend's like accountant guy, called him, he made me feel so like safe. After I got off the phone with him I was just like, okay, this is actually fine. And I finished my expense report, I've sent it off to him and like I said I just feel like a weight has been lifted now. It's just a scary part of adulting but I feel like once you get it, you get it. So this video is the start of me glowing up my whole life for 2024. So my boyfriend and I are currently flat hunting. We will be out of this flat within the next like two months. And we're both just really ready for change and a new chapter. And I'm really excited, but because we're moving, I have been slowly starting to declutter everything in the flat. I cleared out this cupboard the other day in our kitchen and it was literally just like filled to the brim of just random stuff that we'd accumulated. And honestly, I kind of clear out my wardrobe like once a week or once every two weeks just like when i'm choosing what to wear if there's something that i'm like do you know what i'm actually just not gonna wear this again then i'll put it in my to list on depot bag so i am continuously trying to declutter my wardrobe because i just have an obscene amount of things and you're gonna see like how excessive it is like it's pretty bad but with my new year new me motivation and the focus that i want to put on just owning pieces that excite me that fit and flatter me really well i feel like i want to have like a really deep cull and then i'm going to spend a day just listing it all on depop i'd love to do another pop-up again but i really actually don't know when i'm going to have time especially if there's some winter bits like i want to put them up sooner rather than later i know i'm going to do peck and car boot when it's back and just try and have a major declutter before i move flat and then i will do another pop-up but i feel like i'm probably not going I have time to do it until like March, April. Also, I'm going home to Jersey in like two weekends time. It's my little sister's birthday. And then I haven't seen my whole family since like August and I miss them. And I'm gonna be going to my mum's storage units. Just in case you don't already know, my username is daughter of a hoarder because my mum is a hoarder. I've been helping her clear out her house and all her storage units for the past like nearly four years now, which is crazy. So whenever I go home, we aim to tackle like an area. We've kind of just been focusing on the storage units because they're a little bit more manageable than her house. And usually I bring back a suitcase or some boxes to London with me of her vintage clothes and shoes and bags and accessories. And they're usually just like, insane i keep anything that fits me that i love for myself and then i sell other pieces but i've just always been a person who gets over things really quickly and i'm incredibly particular not just about my clothes but also just like in life like the way i like things cooked and like the way i like my bed made like i'm just a very particular person and sure because of the nature of what i do with daughter of hoarder and just like in life i do have an appetite for newness but i remember long before social media i always used to just like clear out my wardrobe and like get over things that I had bought previously and be like, this needs to go. I can't even remember what I used to do with stuff. Did I used to sell it on eBay? A long time ago. So I cleared out my makeup. Oh my God, I really need some new makeup. Like the only eyeshadow palettes I have are absolutely enormous. And my friend Ellie at work made fun of me when I got up this massive Morphe palette that my friends got me for like, honestly, my 17th or 18th birthday. And she was like, okay, James Charles, but like, it's the only eyeshadow palette that I have that I use. My only small one is like all glittery and that's not very every day. I had like MAC lipsticks from when I was like 16. I had concealers from when I was like 16 and I just needed to let some of that stuff go. So I've had a bit of a makeup clear up. Oh, let me show you my new towels in my bathroom. So Solly and I got each other this set of Tekla towels. All the big ones are hanging up behind me. This like rack kind of annoys me because there's so much like wasted space there. The blue crates don't really go with the vibe and I hate being able to see all the toiletries. So I really want to get a black chest of drawers for the bathroom. But I just feel like there's no point because we're going to end up moving soon and I don't know if the new place is going to have built-in drawers in the bathroom or if it will even fit a chest of drawers. Chest? What do you call like a skinny thing of drawers? I don't know. So there's no point in doing anything about it. I'm just going to have to live with it for now. Okay, I'm just going to start with decluttering my rail behind me. She's like wobbly because there's so much on there and she can't really handle the weight. So she needs this detox just as much as I do. Do you know what? I think this is the first thing I'm going to cull. 
I think it's sick, but I feel like whenever I've seen pictures of myself in it, I've not loved the way that I look in it. I feel like I look frumpy in it, which I know some of you are gonna think is ridiculous, but it's just the way I feel. So she is one to list on my Depop. I'm just gonna chuck it on the floor in front of me. Okay. I wore this at Glastonbury. It is vintage and from my mum's house. The brand is Rutsu. Um, and I loved wearing it at Glastonbury, but I feel like it's not really my style anymore, so I'm gonna sell it. It looks very cute with a little bralette underneath. I feel like it made my waist look a bit snatched and my boobies look like lifted and just, mm, you know? But we've had our moment now. Time to part ways. I'm not sure about this one. This is a little Ganny blouse I got in a car boot. I feel like it is handy for like, kind of formal things. So I'll keep her for now. I actually got out some of my blazers that I had tucked away. And I'm really glad that I saved them because I feel like with like court core and 90s minimalism, I will just be finding new ways to wear these. They're both vintage. I got this in a charity shop and I got this on Depop. Love her. Haven't worn her yet, but do love her. Love her. This is actually already listed in my Depop. If you want her, go and get her. I'm kind of contemplating getting rid of both of these. I'm not gonna lie. Actually, I'm gonna keep this one. This I haven't even worn yet. It's still got its tag on. Don't know why, but just feel like it makes me look a little bit frumpy. I think I'm gonna sell this skirt. I just wish it was my size so I could wear it low rise, but I think it's like a UK six or an eight. It's a six. And I was unbuttoning it and wearing it open, but I wanna wear it buttoned and no rise and I can't. So someone else can. This dress I actually took on holiday with me, but I didn't end up wearing it. But I'm gonna wait and see at the end of this summer if I've worn her or not, and if I haven't, then I'll sell her. But I feel like I haven't given her a season chance yet. This fur jacket is listed on my Depop if you wanna go and buy it. She's, uh, she is so fancy, but I just really wish she was long and she's short, so it annoys me. I've been thinking about selling this. I actually got it really recently from Vivian, but I never seem to reach for it. I saw on a few TikToks that collarless jackets are gonna be a trend 2024. I feel like I haven't really owned this long enough to decide if I wanna part ways with her yet. But if by summer I still haven't worn it, then I'll probably sell it in the autumn. Um, I'm gonna sell the shirt. Okay, I actually love this jacket. Like, I really like it. It's like a distressed brown leather zip up jacket. But I'm gonna sell it because I want a new one. I never reach for it, it doesn't excite me anymore. And that's my criteria for this care out. Like, does it excite me? And this just doesn't. This Wills Bonner track jacket. I don't really feel like it's my personal style right now. But if you wanna buy it, it's on my Depop. I actually could be tempted to sell this set. I have worn it and I love it, but again, it's a little bit too small for me, so it's super high-waisted. And I would love to be able to wear the skirt on its own, but because it's so high-waisted, I never reach for it. And I wanna find basically the same thing, but in a few sizes up. So perhaps I shall sell it. I know that I'm gonna put these all on to take Depop picks and decide to keep most of it. But I need to remember my new year, new me mentality. Okay, my room is actually gonna get dark soon. Like it's already a bit too dark and I want you to be able to see the pieces that I'm pulling out. So I'm gonna pick up where I left off on Monday morning and I've checked the weather and it does look sunny. So hopefully my room will be nice and bright. Honestly, the daylight in like my flat and my room, but also just like in England in winter is the bane of my life because it makes like filming and planning and doing content really difficult because there's only like a few hours of the day to get stuff done but it's okay i'm gonna start editing what i filmed so far and then i actually might go to the gym dun, 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 dun. scary i did a step class yesterday step aerobics and my calves and my thighs are like on fire they are in so much pain so i'm gonna try and do just like incline walking at decent pace and just see how painful that is on my legs and then when it gets too much i'm just gonna do some like core and arm stuff Solly's out this evening, so I'm just making some instant ramen for dinner. This one is like my hyperfixation. I basically just boil the noodles for under four minutes and then drain most of the liquid and then put in most of the soup base, but like probably 80% of it because otherwise it's a little bit too spicy for me. And I do like spice, but it makes me cry. And then I put in the vegetable mix, but I kind of pick out the big pieces of mushroom because I don't really like the texture. And then I'm just gonna crack an egg in and then by the time the yolk is like medium done, because I don't really love a runny yolk, the bottom of the noodles usually crisps up a bit, although I think I've left in a bit too much liquid. So I just do it to the side so that the bottom of the noodles can crisp up and the egg like gets fully cooked. I've just finished the jar of kimchi that Solly made like a few weeks ago. His kimchi is the best, it's like way better than store-bought. 
It's funny that kimchi is classed as a condiment. Like, this is infinitely better than like ketchup and mustard. I've just like stabbed the oak to check that it's done, but it is. So I'm just gonna try and like flip it over. That's what I mean when I say I like it crispy on the bottom. Okay, I'm gonna watch some soups eat this and then edit this video. Good morning, it is Sunday morning and I've had a slight change to my plan today, which means I have some time this morning to tackle this wardrobe. I'm just gonna be really ruthless and ask myself like, does this piece excite me? Do I reach for it when I see it in my wardrobe? So let's see how we get on. Okay, I know it's really messy in here and really rammed and I'm kind of embarrassed, but I'm gonna start by pulling out all of the shoes. So I'm getting rid of these because they're a bit tattered. These are actually half a size too small for me. And if I spend the whole day like walking around in them, they really, really hurt my feet. So I'm gonna have to find a quilted heeled ballet flat to replace them because I am in love with them. These are actually just like too narrow for my feet. My feet kind of slide out of them and my feet are a little bit wider. So I feel like I should just sell them. And then those are just like a bit old and worn and rusty and crusty. And I don't really feel like they're my style anymore. These shoes are just very summery as well. So I think I'm gonna put them up in the cupboard with all of my other summer bits. I got these camo sock boots on eBay a few years ago now and I haven't actually worn them but I kind of want to save them because you never know like I just feel like they're a little bit iconic you know That is just so much nicer. I wish I didn't have to put my shoes underneath so that I could just keep it like that. I need some more shoe storage. Okay, I feel like that's so much better. It's so much more decluttered. It's still super full, but like I'd say 70% of it is Solly's and then that's all Solly's and he has said that he needs to clear out as well, but he's super hungover this morning, so I'm not gonna make him do it now. Um, I know they're cute, but they have loads of holes in, and I just can't wear tights with holes in. I literally never wear ankle socks, so I'm gonna drop those off at the textiles recycling because no one wants used old crusty ankle socks. I've sewn these up like five times, but I feel like maybe it's just time to let go. Okay, 
Okay, I feel like I finally finished sorting out, clearing out and organizing everything in this room that belongs to me. I'm gonna spend the whole day tomorrow listing everything on Depop so that by the time this video is out, which should hopefully be tomorrow evening, you guys can go and shop all my stuff. I feel like my wardrobe is a lot more manageable now and that I've had a really good declutter. I'm trying to think what other things I wanted to work on for my like glow up era. I've been told I could get an online prescription for hydroquinone, which should hopefully help me with my hyperpigmentation that I have here. It's not so bad now, but it's so bad when I've spent any time in the sun. I've also ordered rosemary oil on Amazon. I didn't really fall for it when there was like all the hype on TikTok. Like I feel like there was a point where every other video would be about rosemary oil and I don't really know what was going on. But whenever there's like so much hype around something, I almost like to rebel against it and like steer clear of it. But two of my really good friends use the Nature Spell rosemary oil and they say it's really good. And I feel like this part of my hairline She's kind of receding, so I need to fix that. Another like glow up goal slash new year's resolution was just to read more. I chowed through An American Marriage when I was on holiday and I've just started this new one, let me get it. Laura at work who recommended American Dirt, which I also loved, so I feel like I trust her recommendations, said to read How to Murder Your Life. And it's kind of, well, it says on here, like the devil wears Prada on crack and it kind of is that, so I'm really enjoying it. Okay, I think that's everything for this video. Don't forget to click subscribe if you haven't already liked the video leave me a comment down below and also let me know what kind of content you want to see from me this year because I'm all ears. Is that the phrase? Whatever. Okay, bye.